I would encourage you guys to put together a long-term plan. Like a lot of you guys are really young. You know, all of you are very young, right? On actuarial tables, like from what insurance companies use, and they ought to, they know how to make money, so they're not going to lose money on their bets. Like, all oh, you're going to live to like 85, 90 or something. So you might as well plan around what you know will come, right? So I have current, I have a 60-year plan I put together in 2014, and I, I've worked against that. But even before that, I got, came out of college in 2005. So when I got out of college, I also thought long-term. I spent a couple of weeks in silence at a monastery, a Mary Knight monastery, reflecting, you know, what am I going to do with my life, you know? So really trying to think about what you're going to do before you start just doing stuff, right? So that's, I would encourage that. So, um, so a lot of like, my pathway that I go on, and I do this in business too, is not, it's not a linear approach where you just go like sequentially, oh, I'm going to go do A, B, C, D, F, G, it's going to equal Z, right? So people look at what I'm doing and they're always like super confused, like what the hell are you doing? Like why are you going to law school? You know, why do you get a CPA and yet you're running a business the whole time? Like I didn't go to class at law school, I just like ghosted it, you know? I did take all the exams, passed them, I took two bars and passed them and stuff, so I did, did get work done and stuff so I understand law, you know, whatever, somewhat. But um, anyways, but so like, but why did I do that? Well, I had a long-term idea of like setting up a foundation. My, when I was in college, I, my foundation was to try to learn how to think and to learn a lot of stuff that later on you can't learn when you're under the gun of pressure, right? You got too much stuff going on. And I didn't know where I'd end up being. Like at first I went to the seminary when I was like 17 or 18, but that didn't work out because <laughs> of obedience reasons. It's just too hard to follow. I mean, that was the hardest I ever tried to follow rules, but it didn't work. But, um, Anyways, and then... Um, I was also kicked out of Montessori school. <laughs> <laughs> Which is for kids who can't obey. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think that's a record. So. Yeah, I was like, kicked out of my high school, too. So, and, um, but yeah, I've always had problems with authority. It's not, you know, really, but in my head, I was always like, the authority's always off, you know? But anyways, but looking back, it's, my personality's better for entrepreneurship. It doesn't fit well within structure as much as other people, you know? So, but God creates everybody differently, right? So you got to figure out who you are and then play to your strengths.